How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Daddy Premonition, the Director's Cut. Let's just get straight back into it with the recap and all that good stuff. And he's going to talk about his coffee, and it's already making me giggle. <laughs> Previously, during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. It's not raining! I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. And you were in a car. There's definitely something in this town. You feel it, Zach? The coffee. The coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> right. I'm not going to laugh next time at the coffee. Unless he has another premonition with his coffee, in which case I'm going to laugh. Oh, now we can get lunch. The body was found in the Greenville Forest Park. Big games, like video games? That's west from here. <laughs> that is what it says. Wide. That's amazing. A forest Park? A forest park? Oh it's no! It's the pride of the town. It has this a town? trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. Do, do, that does sound do, do, fantastic. Do, do, do. Show do, me the sights. Do, do, do. Uh, that may do, have to do, wait. Do, we do, promised to be there by do, 1800 do, to interview the first do, witnesses do, do, do. to the crime scene. Do, 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 do. I want to get lunch. Yeah, time to advance. Let's get lunch. Oh, I can't wait to see what he's going to do when we get lunch. <laughs> Oh, Agent another cutscene straight away, okay. If I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really upset It was nice that they let me play the, the game long enough to walk into the car. <clears throat> I have the authority approved by the FBI to assume command. I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my orders. I'm not or disputing I'm FBI you. authority, but this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. <laughs> what a way was she turning there? Just, yeah. She's like a robot. That smile. <laughs> you're, you're a creepy man. <laughs> oh, we can talk. Sweet. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman Jim Green along with his two grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Oh, I had a dream about Just them where they were angels. Routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Not yet? Are you out of your mind? You're out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? What the hell was that? Agent York, that totally was <laughs> Did they just have a sign or something? orders to wait for you to arrive. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert, is it? Good old Bob Abrams. Ah, Bobby. I did tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent Morgan. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yes, you are. Yes, yes, it is. Official statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George, but that won't be necessary. I want to hear the details from the witnesses themselves, firsthand. I just can't believe that the I children had to witness the crime scene. Oh, they shit. may be traumatized. <laughs> I really stopped you looking do around. This carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ugh, just forget it. Muffler Road. Who named these roads? Agent Morgan, how much longer do you want to keep talking? Maybe we should cut the chit chat and go get our official statements. No, we're right. going for lunch. Let's head over to the forest park. No. Oh, I'm gonna miss lunch. I just accidentally went back to the title screen. I'm gonna have to do that all again. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to drive all the way back! No! <laughs> right, if I wanna get to lunch, I need to go down the road, take the first left, and then go straight. Alright, got it. Oh, it's time for some lunch. They're gonna be annoyed I got out of the car again. If you're wandering off, uh, then we'll go on ahead. Fine, go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. It's lunchtime. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Come on, Agent let's York, go get a sandwich. We only have until 1800 or something. To talk let's to just Thomas to Biscuits. Scene, okay? Yeah, I know. There's a big goddamn clock right there. You don't need to tell me. I can shave here. Okay. A dumbbell. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Okay. Arnold. Why am I looking at a dumbbell? I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? I think you're an idiot. Why would a guy called Arnold 
put his name on it. It's clearly someone called Suzanne that owns this. What sort of question was that? <laughs> Do you think the person who owns this is called Arnold? <laughs> Turkey sandwich. Yoink. Why is it a card of a turkey sandwich? Right. <laughs> Guess the station can't afford food. Look at that terrible trash. It's just a flat image. Lunch. Thomas. Oh, great. We're going to eat Thomas for lunch. Hello. I can make you lunch if you like. Yes. I'll have it ready for you in a jiffy. Why are you saluting? <laughs> What? Oh, the animations are amazing. Fantastic cooking, Thomas. Oh, they're so good! <laughs> Thank you. Good, wholesome cooking like this in the workplace every day. George, you've got the good life here. I've been cooking here every day since I started. It's lunchtime. Oh. How about your cooking, Emily? <laughs> oh, her cooking is pretty good. <laughs> But it isn't for two-legged animals. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Zach? <laughs> Not for two-legged animals. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> I don't even need to say anything. Oh, this is funny on its own. Finish up. We need to meet the twins over at the forest park. <laughs> Look at him go. That's right. You really Morgan, like that one. That's enough for today. Stop your giggling and let's get back on track. Yes. Of Wait course. a minute. You guys are going to go on ahead. Why are you here? You're like, oh, I don't have time for this. Well, I guess we could get a bit of lunch. Yay, I got, I got paid to eat lunch. Wow, Thomas is like the best. <laughs> paid for checking the weather. Lovely. Literally just a button prompt. Let's have a little save. Hey! Paid for doing that as well. And I go into the void, I guess. <laughs> Lily Ingram. Okay. I'm gonna guess by the pink shirt that maybe she works in a diner? Someone's house? Can I just go up to people's houses and knock on the door? What the? Oh. <laughs> oh sweet, he's on it for breaking into someone's yard. Can't just want to look around, nosy around the town. I haven't actually a Let's peek. It's just nosy through someone's window, why not? Why not? <laughs> Hello, anyone taking a shower in there? Oh There's a blue glowy thing. Oh a metal What's the point of this mechanic? Can I actually, like, catch important things if I peek at certain times? Observation bonus. Yeah, peep and tom bonus! <laughs> Keeping an eye on the neighborhood, quite literally. Closed. Oh, who lives here? Can I check? Steal their meal! They're, they're getting bullets delivered, apparently. To the toolbox. Is there a limit on how much I can have in the toolbox? God damn. Well, there's people's houses that are open. I've got till 6 o'clock. But what if I want to get dinner? <laughs> hmm, maybe I should go now. But people's houses are open. Alright, you know what? Oh, suspect? Okay, okay, that's a suspect. Alright, let's go talk to them. Is everybody called suspect until, like, I learn their names? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, just do as you please. We can head to the forest later. Are you not in control? Oh. I guess my inventory can get full. Oh, look at this guy glitching the fuck out. Um. I can't approach his door because, uh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, buddy. Hey, wait. No. Oh. I actually missed him! Oh, hey! Come to the door! <laughs> what was that? Oh, he let me in, apparently. I'm in your house, take a shit! Suspect? Oh my god, the green void. Suspect? 
I'm in your house. Let's talk. Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. That's uh, not your chin. You there. Anna's mother. Do you know where Anna is? Anna. Yeah, she's in the morgue. My dear Anna. Zach, let's do this Possibly later. in the visions in my head. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. <laughs> okay, we learned her name at least. Yeah, everybody's called suspect until I talk to them. That's kind of cool, actually. Where'd that dude go? Dude came in here. Hello? Dude, you in here? Serve? A large number of dresses. Not surprising with two women living here. And that was a dude that entered. Oh. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Dramatic music! This door must be important for later in the game or something. What the hell? <laughs> What's that? A card in there. So yeah, I guess I, I guess I have to go in there later. That's part of the investigation. Oh, there he is! Hey, hey, hey! I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I so I was house. killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? To investigate. Darts bar. Wait. Done. I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you, but it means the death of a friend to me, and I want you taking this lightly, like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. That's a fantastic voice actor right there. I'm here to the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't yeah, shine their own boots, because right? local Good enforcement point. can't shine their own boats. You can't always right? count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself, Quint. How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. <laughs> I also know oh? about you and your significant it's so other. anime. You What's he doing? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? Okay, Quint. Okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. Mm. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even <laughs> kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can Quint. read him like a book, I would Zach. never have thought that. I would have thought Quincy. Or something like that. So he just guessed. Alright. Observe, what do you think of him? A typical modern-day youngster, I'd say. What's he making? Is, he, is it a turkey sandwich? What is he? What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing there, bud? Oh, that—that that was fucking magical. How did you do that? <laughs> He's just like, what? <laughs> like it's a food. Oh, that's nice. They around lunchtime they come back and they have lunch and stuff though. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh no, the void! Don't do it. A biscuit baked by Thomas. Thomas's biscuit. Yeah, makes sense. Can I take this car? Observe. Modern day teens would love this design. Must be Quince ride. Yeah, look at my sweet ride. It's slow as hell. Can I get better cars? Hmm. What's that sandwich? Is that just another place to get lunch? Let me check the map. I don't know. Let me see if that's a shop or something. Oops. Uh, sorry. Uh, phone lines are gonna be down for a while. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. Uh huh. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams. The adventure begins. Yeah, it's a diner. That I don't, one was back maybe I can sell stuff in there, though. Directed. Hmm? Shut up. Zach, we'll finish our chat later. <laughs> Let's take a walk around here. Why don't we just finish our chat now, York? You know, I, I, I go with you wherever you go. Suspects! I'm walking into your hey, kitchen. I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. I can! I'm FBI! Arr. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! What about your badge? Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. What about your badge? Let's leave him in his. No, what about your badge? Uh, can I talk to her through the thing? Again. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. You just and love to whip that out. Olivia, 
Olivia Cormack. Uh, is that text to speech? <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Cormack. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. <laughs> There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England. You should England, be proud of it. She's got this really you know, strong you, image. Be proud of being that an someone American chose that name singer. for you. Huh? That's huh. it. Olivia Newton John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. <laughs> She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly <laughs> stunning. It's hard to believe she is was she on drugs? at the time. Or is she just trying I to get said, a word in and he won't shut up? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh. Okay. Can I get a sandwich? So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a Bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again. You can tell by the emotion on my face us. that so I am very upset and right now. She energetic just a few days ago. She and I, we were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. Is that slang? If you remember anything for drugs? Else, let me know. You're under arrest. <laughs> now, can I please have a sandwich? It's hard at work helping her husband. She's almost too good for him. Oh. Can I have a sandwich? Oh! She just shoved that kettle of her butt! <laughs> oh! Oh, God, love, not in public. Oh my God, that. That's gotta hurt. This case is important. Would you like to show her something? Yes! I would. You should try our uh, Nick's, um, my husband's cooking. That's a weird way to phrase it. Be an asshole or something that she doesn't like him. People around here are all saying it's really good. Olivia! That sounds like a wonderful idea. As you said, I am here after all. This is definitely, <laughs> this definitely is a diner. And a diner is a place to eat. I almost forgot the most basic fact. What? Please, this is not how humans talk! <laughs> What do you think, Zach? So, would you like to order something? Can I sell you stuff? Would you like to buy some bullets? <laughs> Onion rings. Omelette containing fried rice. Clam chowder. A roast turkey. Just an entire roast turkey. Cornbread. I'll take an entire roast turkey, please. Yes. Hmm. You ate a lot. Mm. Mm. I had no reason to do that other than to hear his sexy eating noises. Welcome to uh, York's ASMR. Today we're going to be eating a whole roast turkey. What's in here? Oh, a diner menu. Alright. Oh, it's another card. Sure. 200 bucks. 30 bucks. Oh! York, you earn so much money every day just by just walking around. You just walk around, dude. You don't even need to be a cop. Pick up cards, get paid for it. Or steal cards, I guess. That wasn't a drawer. <laughs> but it's a menu. Right. Enough stuffing our fat faces. Let's carry on with the actual story. Time to hear him go on about tremors again and such. Zach, picking up from where we left off. Tremors? Mm -hmm. I think Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say, Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. Guess Hamilton was... Sorry, dude, I keep interrupting your conversation with Zach, but... The roads here are weird, so I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. Out this way, is that correct? Yep. Maybe. Oh my... God, I'm going to be driving forever. Oh my god. What the hell, game? Look at that shit. Look at how much I got to drive. You know, I might actually run out of gas before I get there. Oh, right. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. 
You knew that, right, Zach? Yeah, sure. Jennifer Grey. She's in one of my most favorite movies. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hmm. 1986, directed by John Hughes. That's one of your favorites, huh? Oh, that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. Oh, but you really well, fuck do you like then. those cheerful movies. No, I don't. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink. I hated them. What are you talking Elmo's about? Fire and Fast Times. Elmo's Fire. Fire. That last one was in 1982, directed by I don't by remember Andy that Eckler. episode of Sesame Street. Now that was an impressive film. What? You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron I don't think I've Crow. seen that one, genuinely. Like, How could that not be no a jokes. great film? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, the last words the end was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Uh -huh. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Flower Road has no flowers. Yeah. Good name. Finally. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Stay out of it. Stay out of that thing. Stay out of the circle. We're going to the phone. We're saving. I'm never doing this drive again. Okay, we're here. What are you playing at? You tell us to come here, and you keep us waiting. I guess I'm supposed to Is approach the them first. treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. <laughs> you really are pushing it, you know that? I'm sorry if I, I upset hate you, so but much it was food. important stuff. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. I peeked here. through a window. In the middle of a homicide I broke into a house. He's not listening, I had food. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. Oh, I'll God. Be careful from now on. I promise. Fine. I'll talk to you before approaching the gate. God damn whiny little bitches. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Where do you keep them? Sorry. <laughs> well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body. Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. They did it. Arrest them. They're creepy. See? <laughs> Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. Wait, so that's actually happening? We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't so want to So he's actually seeing the Very future well. in his dreams? Emily, please. I'll just take what? over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. There's the tone These children shift again. were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't oh, matter. Why is he protecting them like that? Like I'm You'll about to like me right tackle back. them and How like run away. Hopeless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emma's no. right. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of investigation. Call Children me a cop. see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot. And they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never yeah. joke about matters like this. <laughs> oh don't worry. Oh, God. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. They're sitting. You mean st they're, s they're now, sitting? Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining, bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrels. Weasels and a snake. A real what do you mean she was pretty? She had like her we abdomen ripped open. Until then. But we know now Anna was the fairy of the forest. I'm over here. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She what? looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy. No. A goddess. No. Oh. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course uh -huh. she is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm listening. 
<laughs> Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Is it? Well, I, well, I suppose it's information I had, but he didn't have, so I guess it is useful to him. Because I saw them find the body. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. Mm -hmm. And that means our unsub... Can we do some actual investigating now? Our subject now? was here, too. So, what happened here? Damn, man, you were chewing that cigarette while talking. Let me guess, you're going to take a puff, and you're going to stub it out. Profiling, start! Ah, uh, fuzziness, more fuzziness. I don't know what that is, it's... it's Anna? Anna? What the frick? That sounded like the kids. That's the woman. Hmm. That looks natural. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Of course, you didn't even look around. And he stubs it out after one puff. And his cigarette packet must just be full of ash. Wait a minute. I'm about to be attacked. Why is why am I wearing my FBI thing all of a sudden? <laughs> But just any time it rains, it just pops into existence. George, you're under arrest. Uh, Quite a serious character. Ah, we read that before. As George. you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. Mm -hmm. But what are you planning on doing? To investigate, of course. Basic crime investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. I'm leaving! Ah, uh, oh, focus on the investigation. Fine! Picture of a vest with holes. What? No one find this before? Profiling start! Again. We don't have enough clues. But we get extra money for doing this. Anna's body was found hanging from this tree. Why did the murderer bother to hang a dead body, I wonder? Mm, some sort of sick art project? Uh, Zach, look! The depression on the grass. I think we have a clue. Oh, it's depressed? Well, we'll give us some tablets then. You got two bent pieces of grass! I get why that would actually be maybe useful, but it's just a weird thing. You got two pieces of bent grass. Congratulations. Oh, so the killer is actually dressed like that raincoat killer. Wait, does that mean that the raincoat killer is the actual murderer and not just a weird thing in my head? And they tried to kill me whenever I got to town. What? I don't know why I came to this, Anna. You did. Oh, I can just go to sleep here. I'm so tempted to point my gun at George. Bird's nest? Do I... do I shoot it? I guess so. Missing piece of a heel shoe. Oh, pin heel shoe. Hmm. How did it end up at a bird's nest? I guess a bird picked it up. Which means... wait. Hang on. Anna was hanging up by the tree. That wasn't Anna. Which means a woman was out here and saw the body. What? Oh, that's actually interesting. Okay, where's that other clue? Clue, 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 clue. Fuck your fence, old man! There's stuff over here! Pickles! Another bird took a clue! Fucking birds! That was a hell of a shot to make a pop back this way. Chip with rusted metal dust. What, George? You didn't think to check the nests? You're a fool! You're a bad cop! 
You're off the investigation. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. Hmm. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. Okay, here we go. From the tree and put on her shoes. Hmm. She's really enjoying it. A sicko. That's one theory. Note down. And, and disgusting. What? He knelt down on what? George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Yeah. What do you think, Zach? I do think it's interesting. Uh, what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. Bo. That's right. Joel. Schumacher. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Wait, you know him? Profiling is a little different from oh, writing wait. a screenplay, though. I guess he means An idea being introduced to his make work. It fact. No. Let me enlighten you, George. There was another the woman here. Reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. Oh! If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. Did he? How to put this he politely? Here for a reason. Did he mean sexual gratification? Conversion. Zach, what was he doing in front of Anna? Mm, wasn't him? It was a woman. Okay, normal shoes. Walks up. Hand overhead. Like they were sorrowful about it. And then someone else came along and put down a picture, broke off a heel, and walked away. So we're looking for a woman that was also involved. We've got two suspects! Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Just like the twins said. She was a goddess. Hmm. The unsub, our unknown subject, or not. offered prayers not sorrowful, to he was praying. Body. It's bitten out tongue and massive mm. body wound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. Yeah, snap the there heel. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. Hmm. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. Very interesting, actually. That's why I'm not saying much. It's actually interesting. One who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. How could you know but that? Why? Why did she leave her here? Why did she go to the cops? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. Scared, she I guess? Know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. Hmm. That How look... many women wear high stiletto that heels? That look just makes me think that George think? has oh, a reverse peace I sign. I think most of them have at least one Or he knows something about it, at the very least. I do, too, before hmm. you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Who? Do, Don't keep me do, in the dark, do, do, do. Who might this elegant do, do, lady do, do. be? Do, 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 do. Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. Hmm. A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore. 
with either a junkyard? lot of metal or metal machine. Didn't we pass a junkyard coming like here? The, the old lumber, lumber mill. mill. Hey, that was it. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Mm, could work at a could lumber you mill. Guide me to I did get attacked with an axe. Setting for extravagant murder. Well, things are really starting to get interesting in this game. Really getting interesting. Still really weird. Really janky. That's not the suit I was wearing! <sighs> Immersion broken. Ruined. Playthrough cancelled. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave it here, guys. That's another investigation done. We'll go back and check out the old lumber mill, I guess. Unless they're like, oh, you can't do that for some reason. You gotta go tomorrow. Maybe we'll get more delicious lunches and dinners with Thomas. And terrible jokes. <laughs> for me and the game. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always. And I'll see all you beautiful people next time. Bye-bye! So what's wrong with this tie?